Um, we're doing absolute values today. So the absolute value of 16 is 16 because the absolute, val absolute values are when you take, so you have 16 and how many times, what is 16, how far is 16 from zero, which is 16. And then um, with negatives, how far is 60, the negative 64 to zero? So that would be 64. So you have your um, decimals. So how far is 72 hundredths away from zero? Which would be 72 hundredths. So then we'll go here. This has fractions in it, and this is a negative fraction. So how far away is four and one third away from zero? So, and then that would be four and one third. With zero, the absolute value of zero is zero, because how far away is zero from zero would be zero. Okay. Okay. It says, what would what do you notice about the absolute values of positive numbers and zero? Po a positive number and zero is is when you is how far a positive number is from zero. Like with up here, this is a positive number from zero, which means it'd be sixteen. And how do you notice the absolute values of negative numbers? Take this one for example so you take four and one third which the absolute value of it is negative except it's actually negative four and one third the absolute value of it is four and one third because four and one third that's how far away it is from zero so the absolute value of negative numbers is just the opposite of that number right yes okay and then we will write a general pattern for 13. It says the abs absolute four, four and 78 hundredths is that's the, what's the original absolute value. And the absolute value of it is four and 78. And then the absolute value of zero is zero. And the absolute value of 19. 1900, 19,000, 719, equals 19, equals 19,792. And that's a general pattern would be, um, we'll write about variable S is absolute value equals X. And then word problem. Yeah, word problem. The number of in one year, while the number of home sales in Indiana dropped 20%. Which date, which date has the larger decrease in home sales? So, let's say that we have negative home sales. Let's just say, you know, let's focus on that. And it's negative because it dropped that much. Yeah, because it so dropped. So if it was, if it raised that much, then it would just be positive. Yeah. So, and then, the absolute value of this would be 24%, and then the absolute value of this would be 20%. And then you can see that the biggest debt would be 24, 24%, which would be Illinois.